Good morning. Today is the 23rd day of September in this 2024th year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you see her today, wish uh, Wendy Shulman a happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Wendy. I hope it's a wonderful day for you. And uh, we have a little overcast sky, but uh, again, not too bad temperatures out. You can see a little breeze stirring. Uh, and so the prospects of perhaps a, a rain shower or something uh, may come later, but uh, all in all, it's the beginning of a good week. I hope yours is uh, blessed and uh, you become a blessing in whatever way you can to those that you meet along the way. Uh, a reading from 2 Timothy in the second chapter. You then, my child, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And what you have heard from me through many witnesses entrust to faithful people who will be able to teach others as well. Share in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving in the army gets entangled in everyday affairs. The soldier aim is to please the enlisting officer. And in the case of an athlete, no one is crowned without competing according to the rules. It is the farmer who does the work, who ought to have the first share of the crops. Think over what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in all things. Remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead, the descendant of David. That is my gospel for which I suffer hardship, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained, therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is sure, if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. This is the word of the Lord. Charles de Foucault, writing in Meditations of a Hermit. Never think that in lowering yourself, you have less power for good. On the contrary, in thus humbling yourself, you are imitating and using the same means that I used. You are walking in my way, and therefore in the truth, and you are in the right state to receive life and impart it to others. The best means for this is always to imitate me, and he speaks of Christ. I came down to the level of men by my incarnation and to that of sinners by my circumcision and baptism. Be lowly, lowly, humble, humble. Let those that are in high places put themselves last in a spirit of lowliness and service, love for men, humility, taking the lowest place so long as the divine will will does not call you to another, for in that case you must obey. Obedience, first of all, conformity to the will of God. If you are placed higher, high, then keep yourself in humility of soul, as though you were the last. Occupy your high position as though you were there only to serve others and to lead them to salvation, and as if, though, you may command them. You are rather serving them, or you command them only with the purpose of sanctifying them. Going forward, great advice to any that seek a higher level of service in community, in church, in a relationship. And let us pray. Guide us, O Lord, to that pathway of humility to think not so highly of ourselves, but to think highly of those who surround us, to lift them up, to bless them, to give them hope and help. We thank you for this day, for the new week ahead. 
for the goodness of the changes and the chances of seasons, for your presence that guides us on the righteous pathways of life, for your holy word that we embrace as the truth. Might we seek that truth in all that we do in the course of a day? Bless us as we each have need. Guide us by your Holy Spirit to do the right thing. Strengthen us in our resolve to be the Christ wherever we are able. Be a blessing to those that need that blessing and help and hope. We pray for the people of Gaza and Israel, of Ukraine and Russia, who are in conflict and turmoil over war. Bring them peace, bring them resolve. Bring your help and hope to all places upon this earth, this place we call home, that we might find the common good, the right thing to do. And grace us, O Lord, with the help we need in our times of travail. We pray your hand of healing to rest in the lives of Nikki and Tom and Donna and Evelyn and Evelyn and of James, of Mark and Katie, of Laura, of Elaine and Miriam, of Jenny and Linda and Mary, Benita, Kenneth and Gay, Barry. We pray your healing presence to abide with all that we commend to your loving care, remembered now. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his countenance, his benevolent favor, and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore. Amen.